In today's episode, I'll show you how to create this powerful swarm of vassals. And you can see it right. As the Ottoman Empire, all thanks to the new invasion mechanic and an expanded new mission tree that makes this country a real... There can only be one Roman Empire! Hello guys, Lucas here. This DLC introduced a lot of changes. This makes all previous tutorials useless. So I will be able to record everything again. I hope you enjoy as much as I do. And a riddle for you. Which two countries have their colors switched? Answers in the comments. Do not cheat. Blah, blah, blah. All changes taken care of. Seriously, that's the first most important. We have a new achievement for the Ottoman Empire. Mehmet Ambition, where we are to create the Roman Empire before 1500, playing as the Ottoman Empire. And that's a really hard achievement. Maybe I'll do it someday. We have now got a gigantic mission tree that should help us with all of this. And it ends with such a nice mission. Pax Ottomana which gives us administrative efficiency plus 5% until the end of the game. There are a lot of cool missions here, lots of cool developments, but I think we'll see through some of them in today's episode or maybe in a continuation. Let me know. As part of the estates, we got a new state, the Janissaries. And let me tell you frankly, many of the old privileges have been completely redesigned. There were also a lot of new privileges for different states. I still don't get everything myself. So I'll hold off on recommendations for now, but I'll pick something up anyway. Let's take Monarch Point. Rather, here I take from each state in turn, as it used to be. At Umrah, I take supremacy over the crown, but beware, she doesn't influence the state of the Janissaries. So you have to be careful about that. I'm taking over the earth and I'll take the mission in a moment. I also know that I will need a lot of loans to start because I plan to fight the war hard and I know Osman can wage war hard so we take these loans. I take all available national decisions and now we take quests from estates. To be honest they work a little differently because we can choose from any estate and we do not draw. From what I can see I found a cheaper administrative advisor so I want to complete this mission as soon as possible. Yes I'm repaying my loans to take again in a moment mission accomplished and I'm taking out loans again yay and now yes I see that I have a cheaper administrative advisor for now we'll take this to the second level advisor he is old he's about to die and we'll hire the one with the third level then diplomatic advisor okay let's take diplomatic reputation and the military we don't employ any because in a moment we're going to have an event in order to complete our missions we must firstly increase our army and secondly have janissary regiments which i'm also just starting to do we're recruiting them and we can do it from the panel general panel recruiting janissaries costs us military points but these units appear immediately and yes, their reinforcement costs are gigantic. See how it ruins my budget. But these are really good military units because now they have such a nice green color. But seriously, they have really powerful modifiers. Only one modifier puzzles me. Assault fort ability plus 50%. Was this unit meant to take forts? <laughs> and I immediately do these two missions, morale and territorial claims. I plan to fight a lot of wars, so I will definitely use these morale. And this mission requires two Janissary privileges from me. From, and it gives such two privileges, which for example, now give us discipline to these units. It is very strong and reducing the cost of stability and annual corruption by 0.10. It's just not strong. But like I said, I want to save our state's influence as little as possible for now. There are also some other more interesting perks, but we'll get to those later. But now I'm willing to do this mission. For 100 years, we get the following bonuses you see here. Here, we even have a historical insert about the history of the Janissaries. Cool. Only who is reading this? So yes, we take these bonuses. The establish the Pasha system mission is quite unique to the Ottoman Empire because this option to assign Pasha has changed a bit and it has been greatly strengthened in my opinion or not. Give me your opinion. However, each province to which we assign fodder gets 20 base autonomy. And to be honest, it's best to have zero of this autonomy. However, by completing this mission, the Ottoman Empire will have this autonomy reduced to 10%. Maybe then it's worth to complete this mission and assign these Pashas. I'll definitely test it if we are talking about our rivals. Here it is rather standard. We'll take Lithuania. I'll see if we get power projection for it. Hungary will definitely be one of our first targets of conquest. And in the same way, Austria may be one of our first targets, possibly Mamluk, because there is even such an interesting mission here, but I won't show it to you now. We also need three galleys to complete one of our missions. And to be honest, I'm getting an alliance with France. It may prove useful. I'm sending one diplomat to Karakoyunlu to improve relations. I intend to use this country in the Mamluk Wars. 
and I leave the third diplomat to declare war. Yes, I'm finally unpausing. And here we have a short insert about who Urban was and why he liked big cannons so much. Of course we want to hire him. The walls of Babylon itself you say? I don't know. Yes, that's why I didn't hire military advisor before. Urban, we got him. And now we basically have a mission that accomplished itself. And just having hired this particular advisor, we have cheap artillery uh, for the next 10 years. Because basically this artillery will not cost us anything totally free. Oh look, here's the modifier. Ah yes, the government system, because there has been a change here as well. But we'll deal with that later. And look how many of these modifiers we have now. And it hasn't even been the first month. Peace has again fallen over the Balkans with the defeat of Christians at the Battle of Varna. Our Sultan's dearest father, Murad, answered his son as called to arms to defend us from invaders. He has achieved a great victory thought at no small cost. Casualties at the battle were heavy on both sides and our soldiers will need time to recover from the battering they have received. In short, inshallah, Christians got f***ed up. Pretty good starting bonuses and we got 100 splendor points. So this, but unfortunately, to be honest, this is where a major weakening of the Ottoman Empire went because we lost the faster siege to the fact that our commanders get one point for siege. It seems much weaker now. I recruited a second general and we can now complete this mission related to the Battle of Varna, which gives us already claims to Constantinople. I'm also sending one of our diplomats to Venice to improve relations with them because there's a peaceful way and I'm curious about it. There is a mission related to this, but the second diplomat goes to declare war on December 13th, Byzantium, charge, then we attack Epirus. By the way, Regos too. France is calling me to war for Maine. Really? Let it be. Three months, three wars. We smashed the remnants of the Byzantine army in Greece. Okay, this infantry bonus is definitely not for siege progression. Well, let's see what the assault will look like. Well, that's how it goes, but I wouldn't say much better than usual. But Constantinople fell. Wow, what information is this? Yes, I have a feeling our empire can stand the test of time. And great, the galleys have built for us. We are now getting a free admiral that is wow. All right, he'll be sinking enemy fleets. From Wallachia, I take only this one province, plus coins. You know what? Something strange has happened. I wasn't raided by the pirates of Rhodos. What happened here? Look! No, I'm not raided. I'm playing the review version, but it's weird. We end some of our wars. As usual, I forgot to change focus to administrative. Coalition. Who would care? But let's wait until December. When did Naples break free? So fast. Byzantium conquered. All these territorial gains gave me less than 4% of the crown land. Always something. Probably this additional estate takes us a lot because in total they have a lot of influence. All in all, this is a very interesting privilege. Each province with a church gives us reduced development. Could the churches finally be useful in this game? Okay, no. Ooh. We can have an advisor for a privilege. He's the only one who doesn't have reduced costs. Okay, religious diplomats have been greatly empowered. Of course I'm an idiot. I forgot that I can invite any scholar and have already reduced aggressive expansion. I'm an idiot. This will need to be added to Osman's starting moves. Okay, there's a decision. We just can't fight our war. Yes, I had to end the war with England early. So I brought our capital to Constantinople. And we immediately complete the mission. City of World's Desires. D this gives us some really nice bonuses. Wow, it's time to bring peace to the Balkans. I mean, Greece, it is true that it is also in the Balkans, but it was about Greece. Hmm, an alliance with Venice. I don't think I'll take it. I wanted to wait until the end of this war, but something so weird is going on here that this war is not over. So I declare war on them all. I don't know how much longer I have to wait. Oh wait, they're storming. What is going on here? Shouldn't it be reduced here? We are expanding Hagia Sophia by one level. But I'd rather not take a 5,000 loan sooner to develop this monument here. Eh? I guess this means war. The birth of the Renaissance, unfortunately, is not for me. As you can see, I've added another merchant now on the gathering of trade in Venice. And that's to set up here. Aggressive expansion drop off accelerated. Because we have a lot of it, really a lot. All wars ended. We basically conquered most of Anatolia, which will now give us claims to the rest of the province in Anatolia. Correct. And those conquests didn't give us much anymore. Literally 1% more. So I think now is the time to give away the rest of the privileges. 
I want monthly devotion, cheaper advisors. This is a really nice privilege for merchants. Demi must be remembered to leave room for 20% extra manpower. For now, I need to have 20% of the crown lands as soon as possible. So I'm not taking that privilege. This could be interesting. So uh, I'll take it. I take this privilege on the Janissaries because we will have better commanders and will increase military tradition. And they are quite loyal. Strict Devshirme system, it's very strong. As part of the test, I will also assign Pasha. Just a reminder, I'm not sure is this the right way. Because, after all, we will have increased autonomy in our provinces. Perhaps you'd have to wait until we have most of this area conquered to have a total of 50 provinces to assign at once. Because now I'm only 22. Well, it's pretty good. Not even 10 years have passed and basically all the core Ottoman territories captured. And what's next? Yeah, we're in a crisis now. And another crisis. Hey, uh, there are a lot of these crises in the Ottoman Empire now. Why does Paradox want this empire to fall? It's so cool and green. Alright, I guess there's no point in sitting on your ass. So we're going to another war for Serbia, Bosnia, Herzegovina and Chile. No, because the emperor will be with the allies, then probably not. And Serbia, why did you come to my territory? And we're going with carpet siege throughout Serbia and Bosnia. The future of the patriarchate. And what I see, I'm very tempted to have this cheaper advisor. Look, 75% cheaper, super strong thing. But this development is not the way either and see that both are affected by completed agents and assigned privileges to the states. It is worth remembering about it. All right, I'll take this development. How dare you form coalitions against me very nicely. Another portion of the Balkans conquered and I see I have some special new form of government. I take her. Okay, okay, okay. Poor creation cost on Osman. All right. And we're at war with the Mamluk now, because frankly he's going to coalition against me as soon as this war is over. And that he's already at some kind of war, you know. We call Karakoyunlu. Our goal will be to capture all this province, but actually a couple of others. To complete this mission, well, all the ones on the list here, especially Alquad, Damask, and at least one of the ones listed here. So Aleppo, Syria, and so on. I have the impression that my allies even fight well. They keep the troops together, destroy smaller Mamluk armies, destroying them one by one, quite interesting. This France is now quite a monster. Very quickly, we take the following provinces, lots of money, even more money, and that will allow me to complete this mission, I guess. So we're going to want to attack the Mamluk with this mega special CB. And here, as a usual, I will release Syria as a vassal. I don't know if it's still necessary to do this, but I usually let it go. So I will do the same this time. Little spoiler, you don't have to. And now a short break in conquest because I need to replenish manpower and introduce the fifth technology to unlock the cheaper core creation as soon as possible. I spend the money I get from Mamluk on building my marketplaces, although I should have used it to pay off my loans. All right, I pay my loan. Wow, what a cool option. Look, I can now increase my trust several times. I don't have to click over and over again. Pasha to Kosovo, I rather do not want to attach. I looked at the privileges and I'll tell you, honestly, I'll take this one. There are now such privileges. Anyway, this will be a good example that we can adopt and privileges will appear to us in the form of decisions. And see, now for 10 loyalty endorsements from Umar, he becomes a general. And this decision comes once every 20 years, 10 years, I don't know. Well, the general is pretty good. The first upgrade of the era, I'll be honest with you, once upon a time I would have chosen a siege without a doubt. But, no, I think we're going to go into a less aggressive expansion. It is time to consider the fate of the holy city of Jerusalem and see, I don't know if this event was before, but now it's really strong. But I think I will accept them. Fasting! And now I'm going to show you a trick which a few people wrote to me in the comments, which I didn't know before. Before we click on this event, we accept the privilege of monopoly on glass. This is our only province with glass, Constantinople. And when we accept it, we get the money. Now switch to crystal production and monopoly disappears. Cheetah, first idea. And here I know you would probably be tempted to take any of these new ideas that have come. So infrastructure, court ideas or mercenary ideas. Well, to be honest, these seem like a good tall game to me. Anyway, when you see all these bonuses here, this is what it looks like. It'll probably look exactly the same in your version. Court Ideas is clearly a Holy Roman Empire game and everything related to it. I personally don't see any other use for it or Mandate of Heaven. Mercenary Ideas seems just as useless to me these days. Like Navy and Maritime Ideas. 
but here we can have conflicting opinions. Alternatively, they can be very situational. And by the way, a lot of things have changed in those ideas. I take administrative first. They moved it to the third, wasn't it always second? In administrative ideas, note that we now have a cheaper administrative advisor in the first position. I can also start the golden era now. And I'll wait a while before turning it on. Let's score some points so we can reform. And I'll move on with my conquests once I get adaptability because it will give us a simultaneous bonus. Ah, so no, my answer is they didn't move it because it always unlocked at the same time. Oh, I don't recognize that either. Great Turkish fleet. Let's start the golden era. About one development for 316 points. How nice. And now see, how can we core a lot of provinces of five, six points? The most expensive cost 33. I took the tech and the coalition immediately disbands. They don't even know what mistake they are making. Wow, I hadn't noticed this mission before. All I had to do was hire a better advisor and I want that. Just out of curiosity, 26 gold income from taxes. I developed Constantinople about how nice. I'm supposed to have 75 developments of Constantinople. Challenge accepted. Even with all these modifiers, this is still 167 points per development point. So I guess I'll have to steal this development. Perhaps the infrastructure will help us somehow here, but rather, I don't think so. Well, building a workshop in Constantinople is definitely worth it. Time to finally get to Venice and some of her allies. Oh no, my fleet! I do not believe that. I don't believe. We are landing in Cyprus. There is a landing on Rhodes. Another reform of our government. And here we take it necessarily because it really gives nice bonuses. Provincial government system clash with the Venetian fleet. We are stronger, but can we do it? Well, unfortunately, it didn't come without losses. Landing on Venice? We can do it even with the downsides. Ooh, how nice. And finally got rid of the pirates. Wow, nice bonus. This wasn't there before. We united Anatolia. Cool, wow, yes. The victory of the house of Osman got interesting mission. For one year, we get quite powerful bonuses. And something else. We are at war for Albania. With Hungary, we'll go a white piece and nothing else. I literally miss one province to get some special casus belly to Hungary. It hurts a bit because I would have a lot of money. But we're going with the white piece. If you're wondering why am I changing the culture in Constantinople to Bulgarian, then I do something like bank diplomat points. When you begin the process of converting to a given culture, these points, if they do not exceed 20% conversion progress, they will be returned to you. Look, see? And that's how you can, as some people call it, bank points. You just have to be very, very careful because if you have 21%, then you will lose all or some part. Wow, nice of them. I'm waiting for this mission. When will the period of peace with Hungary come to an end? Because we only get Casas Belly for 20 years. And we, on the other hand, begin our invasion of Mamluk. And this is supposed to start some event related to the fall of the Mamluk Sultanate. Well, but we can do this mission for my relationship with Venice. Unfortunately, it didn't work out peacefully. And I wanted. You can't say no, but the revolt of the Janissaries. Why? No. Burgundy is probably the most popular country in the world today. I wouldn't want to be in their place. And I'm getting more ideas as I plan to raise a lot. That's how I take diplomatic ideas. Alternatively, I might consider spy ideas for a less aggressive expansion. We would already have a total of minus 40%, which is pretty cool too, but I just want to raise more. 300 points, I can't, how little. And now we are reversing the culture change. We got points and we're moving on. Wow. And what do we have here? We can sign a white piece creating some eagle out of Egypt, whatever it means, eagle out of Egypt, or we can conquer more for myself. Hmm. But let's join this land to us now. Well, good. Now all we have to do is wait. Up to three years. Has anything changed with the Burgundy event? Yes, that sounds like a good plan, definitely. All in all, what will happen? What the f***? Hey, is this all mine? Yes, I treat these as my provinces. Hmm, so we're doing exactly the same with Tunis. So remember, we no longer need Syria. And do you know that this type of vassala is not in relationships? Because I just changed Syria to this. Interesting. Hey, and they give you an additional merchant and any other bonuses. But from what I can see, most of the options are exactly standard. There's nothing more we can do. He is loyal. Therefore, let's not wait and fly with the conquest of Tunis. And we conquer all of Tunis. We establish our Eniate. 
whatever it is. We go on with our conquest. It seems that indeed spy ideas would work better for us. Yes, on paper, at least that's what I think for now. Kill me. But really, what's the difference between Core Elliot and Elliot? I just got a nice privilege from the event. Too bad I didn't record it for you, but okay, okay. Looks like we can go from here for now. For each of these lesser countries, I can peacefully make my vessel. Well, except you, I must conquer you, Oman. Ooh, and you're not that big. Therefore, let's do finally this mission. And let's see what happens. And how bad is that? Well, let's see what the future of the Mamluks will be. Just enough. I thought it was integrating or something. Would have been nice. And I will also say that now I know that we should conquer Egypt first. As soon as possible. Wait, wait, wait. So now I have the opportunity to do this CB on every country that is my neighbor? Yeah. Now I know why you can do a revival of the Roman Empire before 1500. If I have such a friends for one war! Not very. This CB is limited to 100 development. I really regret now that I didn't take the spy ideas. Very much. See? For all those gigantic hungry 44 points of aggressive expansion, after all, almost no one cares. Oh, yes. Revenge for the Sultan and we smashed the Hungarian dynasty. Time to go to war with Spain and here I think we'll establish a foothold in their provinces of course. We'll see if we succeed. I think we will also conquer Malta from Aragon although I don't know if we'll need it. It makes me wonder how can this gigantic France keep up with Spain. This is really puzzling. Anyway, I've expanded our army to 137,000. 142 in total. I see. Make sure you steal trade from them so that you can send it all to me later. Now let's improve the relationship with all the Margrave we will make on our vassal. I end the first war with Spain more or less like this. I'm giving back all of the Margrave. I could almost get Aragon, but I want to do something even more. I take Malt for us, of course. I'm also taking the Alhambra for us. I will develop these monuments. Who would have thought that by diplomacy, Osman here could conquer now? Really, it's super strong. All Margaret becomes ours. I'm also wondering, wouldn't Nepal have dropped me by chance if I hadn't had such a bad relationship with them? How much money do I get from vassals? Hey, maybe that too. Wow! Now I know where I got so much of this manpower. Do you think it scales with aristocratic or quantitative ideas? If I understand correctly, there is also a mission related to the fall of Vienna. So I guess it's time to invade Vienna. But what? Ottomans will get Barbary pirates? Will I be able to pirate the entire coast as Osman? No, however not. Just small bonuses. This time Poland will side with Turkey in the Battle of Vienna. See what the forces are here. Nothing will stop us. But by the way, here in the region of Georgia, we are also starting another invasion. We are launching the invasion of Crimea in the same way. Herdur Hussars near Krakow destroy the Austrian army. Something in history has gone wrong. I really like the fact that now it is written in tooltips what must happen for a given event to fire. I like it very much. I don't have to go to Wikipedia. I don't have to look for some guides on the net. Everything is clear as long as it works. Oh, how nice. The rebels will feed me what they beat. No, Osman is really mega, mega strong. I can't get two advisors for free or get a super epic general. Well, well, how? This is mega strong. Screw this Osman. The fall of Vienna. And... What happened here? Oh, we plundered Vienna and that's it. Uh, I thought it would at least conquer it, but it seems that it should have been done differently. Be just solve Holy Roman Empire as usual and then have fun. I thought this event would somehow solve Holy Roman Empire, but unfortunately not. Pity. So I'm going to end this war a little differently. Just a white piece and in five years we will attack and disband HRE again. Well, that's why I'm going to start improving my relationship with literally all the electors now. And we'll see where we stand in a moment. Cool, it's time to disband the Holy Roman Empire. A little war. All capitals captured. Prestige spended. It's time to disband the Holy Roman Empire. And get no prestige. I feel cheated at the moment. Fortunately now I will get these 100%. Fortunately now, about. Hey, it shouldn't have been released. No, they fixed it. Cool, this is probably the strangest thing I've done to Austria. I was releasing vassals from it. And now these vassals, I will vassalize. And we basically destroyed the Habsburgs. We have disbanded the Holy Roman Empire. Oh yes, and this empire is really looking good for us. Plus, we earn a lot of money, especially from our vassals. And you know what's best? Yes, it scales with all modifiers for vassals. Not Marchi, not this one. Vassals, we have a very large army. Nothing but beat it. 
Unfortunately, I can't get the achievement on the review version. So there's no point in continuing this, even though I wouldn't be able to. But I have launched my invasion of Italy, but that I have Moscow in the coalition, I was surprised. I have established a foothold in the British Isles. Don't ask me how. I also recreated Andalusia, basically Elia el Indalus. No matter how you pronounce it, I just had to take my monument from them. So I lost one level of his development, idiot. And now we are invading Rome. And Rome we must take for ourselves. But these Ottoman armies of ours are really so unstoppable these days. Well, we completely destroy the opponents. We must attack Castile to keep it out of the coalition. Okay, maybe. Hey, if you give this special status to the Pope, watch it. He was the only one who didn't change color. And I did. My goal has been accomplished. That's how I wanted to do this mission. Because now we have a true Roman Empire. What's happening here? Do I understand correctly that I am changing the name of my empire? Wow, cool! And I can move the capital to Rome. But we all know that Constantinople is our real heart. 75 development. Oh my god, it worked! And I have to admit that my empire looks really good. But still, the name Ottoman Empire had to stay. True, this is a much better name. And if you like my weird campaigns, then I invite you to watch this episode of Kingdom of Gold, where playing as Papal State, I create God's Kingdom in Mexico.